Okay guys, let's see how a dil dilation transforms a figure. A dilation is a transformation that can change the size, but not the shape of a figure. A couple important terms. One is center of dilation, and it, and it is the fixed point about which all the points are transformed by dilation. In most cases, the center of dilation will be at the origin, as seen here. And the next term we're going to learn about is scale factor. Scale factor being the ratio of the lengths of corresponding sides in the image and the pre-image. So let's find the scale factor here. Because we have nice horizontal and vertical sides, we can just count the coordinate units. Then we can find the cor uh, corresponding size L prime, L prime and K prime is 6 units and LK is 2 units. Simplify that for a scale factor 3 over 1 or 3. Now let's look at an enlargement. An enlargement happens when the scale factor is greater than 1. The image is larger than the pre-image after an enlargement. Let's find the scale factor by finding the ratio of corresponding side lengths. B prime C prime has a length of 3 units. And BC has a length of 1 unit. So write that as a ratio of image to pre-image, and we get 3 over 1 or 3 for our scale factor. Also, let's observe the vectors from the center of dilation E, the origin in this case, to the corresponding vertices. Let's use slope triangles and compare the distance. So vector E, D, if we look at the slope triangle, has one slope triangle, whereas E, D prime, if we continue going with slope triangles, we can see it takes three slope triangles to get to D prime. So you can see that that is the same as the scale factor. Now let's look at a reduction. A reduction is a dilation where the scale factor is between 0 and 1. The resulting image is smaller than the pre-image. Let's find the scale factor by finding the ratio of corresponding side lengths. We'll look at A prime, C prime. That is 1 and a half units. And AC is 3 units. Write the ratio of the image to the pre-image. 1 and a half over 3. Simplify that and we get a ratio of 1 half. So the scale factor is 1 half. Also, let's observe the vectors from the center of dilation, the origin in this case D, uh, to the corresponding vertices. So from D to C prime is one of the slope triangles, and from um, D to C it's two of them. So we can see that D C prime is one half of D C. All right, now let's observe what happens to the coordinates when we have a center of dilation at the origin. Let's find the scale factor first. So A prime, B prime is 3 units. We can see that there. And AB is 6 units. So our scale factor, the ratio simplified, is going to be 1 half. Now let's observe what happens to the coordinates if and only if the center of dilation is at the origin. The pre-image A has coordinates of 2, 6. Applying the scale factor of 1 half and image A prime, 
coordinates is 1, 3. You can see that the image coordinates are all one half of the corresponding pre-image coordinates. Note that this happens if and only if the center of dilation is at the origin. Okay, now let's look at a dilation not at the origin. First, I want you to look at the coordinates, just like we did in the previous example. Notice that there is no relationship and we do not see our scale factor in those coordinates. But we can observe the scale factor by looking at the corresponding side lengths or by the vector from the center of dilation to the corresponding vertices. So, E prime, F prime, um, I previously found this by using Pythagorean theorem, 3 over the square root of 5, and EF is the square root of 5. Simplify that and we get 3. We can also see this with the vectors coming from the center of dilation, notice it's not at the origin, to the corresponding vertices. So CE prime is 6 units, and CE is 2 units. That simplified is 3. 